It's finally happened guys, Rock Wrecker has been added to the Game Master in Pokemon Go, which means we now know how good that Community Day Rock Wrecker Hyperior is going to be once it finally drops. In this video I'm going to be going over the stats with you guys, letting you know how good these attacks are, and I'm also going to go over some simulation data with you, letting you know just how good Rock Wrecker Hyperior is in raid and PvP content. So let's get into it. So here we got the stats for Rock Wrecker for both PvE, which is raid content, and for PvP content. Uh, this information is on Game Press, link in the description if you want to check it out yourself. So as far as raids are concerned, Rock Wrecker is basically like a slightly better Shadow Ball. Its damage and its energy cost are parallel to Blast Burn, but because it does have a slightly longer cooldown, that does make it slightly like less useful than Blast Burn is. However, it's a better Shadow Ball, and Shadow Ball's already pretty insane, so definitely a good attack there. Then as far as PvP is concerned, yeah, Rock Wrecker is just a straight up Blast Burn clone, which is phenomenal news for Rhyperior, because Stone Edge, 55 energy cost, 50 is cheaper, which means Rhyperior is now that much faster, which uh, is basically everything in PvP, as you will see. I'll cover the PvP content after the PvE. I know a lot of you guys are just here for the raid information, right? So using the comprehensive DPS TDO spreadsheet, comparing all different rock type Pokemon, using only rock type attacks, Rhyperior is now number two in terms of DPS, standing behind Rampardos. Rampardos has about 2.4 more DPS than Rhyperior does. Now if you saw my previous video, we already knew this was basically going to happen. It would take an insane amount amount of damage, like the move would have to be crazy busted for Rhyperior to outdo Rampardos in terms of DPS. However, what Rhyperior lacks in DPS, it makes up for in tankiness. TDO, total damage output, is basically a more useful metric for a Pokemon's tankiness, and yeah, you can see Rhyperior is just kind of blowing Rampardos out of the water. But how does that look in practice? Well, if you guys checked out my Tornadus Incarnate form video, you'd already know uh, the speculation that we had on Rock Wrecker. So Rock Wrecker didn't end up being Meteor Mash or Dynamic Punch, it ended up being Blast Burn, which is uh, in between these two attacks, right? Uh, so basically right about on the 30 line, and I would assume in between these two moves, right? Which is pretty awesome. That ends up right about here, and you can see the difference between it and Rampardos. The increased tankiness versus the increased damage output. So for those of you that like to get speed clears in, you want to do all the challenge clears, yes, Rampardos is going to be the better Pokemon for that one. But for those of you that like to just stay in swinging with the best stuff, you don't like relobbying, and you like putting out some tremendous damage at the same time, well yeah, Rock Wrecker Rhyperior is definitely where that is. By the way, this community day, if you happen to get the lucky hundo Rhyperior of your dreams, you might want to set it as your buddy right away. When Tornadus Therian form comes out, right now we got Tornadus Incarnate form, it's a different form, and uh, when Reshiram, one of the hottest raid bosses in Gen 5, when those two Pokemon drop, Rhyperior has a best buddy specific breakpoint for them. So if you got the maxed out hundo and it's your best buddy, making it level 41, not level 40, it does extra damage in that particular fight. If you want more information about best buddy breakpoints, I got a video on it in the description. Uh, so yeah, I'll let you know what those Pokemon are so you don't miss out on them for the future raid bosses. It's also worth mentioning that it also gets a best buddy breakpoint against Zekrom and Dialga. But those Pokemon aren't weak to rock, they're weak to ground type attacks. But that's kind of good news for your old Rhyperiors, right? You know, they're, they're not completely put to waste. They can still do the ground type stuff. So I think that's pretty cool. Now instead of having our Pokemon be 100% outclassed by their Community Day forms, we have a Community Day side grade going on, which I think is pretty neat. And with that all said, let's get into the PvP portion of this video. As far as PvP goes, Rock Wrecker Hyperior in the Great League and the Ultra League really isn't the thing. It's like, eh. As far as Sylph Cups are concerned, Rock Wrecker Hyperior is definitely going to be pretty cool for Sylph Cups, um, but in general, not that hot. Where it is hot, though, is in the Master League. This is the basic makeup of the Master League as far as the leads are concerned. I'm still working on my Master League content here, and with Rock Wrecker Hyperior, I got even more work to do now, right? Um, but yeah, no, some of the best Pokemon in the Master League are Togekiss, Dialga, and Giratina Origin Form. These are like the meta baddies. And then we have the anti-meta type Pokemon that can handle multiple of them at the same time. Well, King I have highlighted how Rock Wrecker Hyperior more or less breaks up this main meta core pretty well. 
using Mudslap and Rock Wrecker. Yeah, with this combination, Rock Wrecker Hyperior can now take out Togekiss in the one shield situation where before it was just a little bit too slow. You think that five energy costs wouldn't make that much of a difference, but here we are making a difference. And Giratina Origin Form. In the one shield situation without baiting, Rock Wrecker Hyperior now has the opportunity to beat Giratina Origin Form. Before, it was too slow, now it's just fast enough. Let me show you. If Giratina throws Shadow Ball, so it didn't get this successful ominous wind bait in, and you shield it, you take the fight all the way to the final Rock Wrecker, taking it out in the one shield situation. Now you will notice here that it is almost getting that ominous wind. It's like ever so slightly close. So you can't really switch in Rhyperior into Giratina and hope to have a good time because then it can just use two Shadow Balls and an ominous wind and just completely school you. Um, but as a lead, Rock Wrecker Hyperior is doing pretty awesome. And if you're wondering about that Dialga, we didn't need Rock Wrecker before to beat it. It's just straight mud slap damage, man. Super effective hits for days. And to that end, I just want to highlight to you guys that Rhyperior was already a really good Pokemon in the Master League before. It just wasn't like, it just wasn't there. It was just a little bit too slow. Um, but now, with the improved speed, with Rock Wrecker, that 5, that little baby energy cost, Rhyperior is now kind of a boss. Now if you're wondering about the other leads here, um, such as Kyogre, right? So Kyogre obviously is going to beat down on the Rock Wrecker Rhyperior. I mean, it's doing doubly super effective water type damage with Waterfall, so it can just basically fast move us down. But Rock Wrecker is so powerful and happens quick enough that you will be able to reach it before Kyogre KOs you, and it will want to shield your attack. You do well over half of its health with Rock Wrecker alone. So Kyogre has to kind of be wary when it comes to Rhyperior now, where before Stone Edge just wasn't getting there. And then as far as the Steel type Pokemon go, especially Heatran, uh, yeah, you just... <laughs> they're done. <laughs> Rhyperior is here now. They're done, man. They're gone. I mean, they have a better matchup against Togekiss. Togekiss can still beat Rhyperior by two shielding it, which is what Togekiss is really good at doing. Togekiss can't really pull that off against Steel-type Pokemon, so... Steel-type Pokemon still definitely relevant in the meta, especially if they have a bit of an energy lead on Rhyperior. They got those super effective Steel-type attacks. But, as a lead versus lead, Rhyperior is looking pretty threatening. Overall, yeah, the lead meta might be seeing some changes now with Rock Wrecker Hyperior in the works for the Master League, because leading with it will guarantee you either winning the matchup or at least getting shield advantage for the future of that particular fight. And for those of you that are into the Rose Cup, the Sylph Arena, high-end bourgeois PvP Great League nonsense, yeah, no, Rock Wrecker Hyperior, pretty dang good. I mean, Rhyperior was already a good pick. It's basically an alternative to a fighting type Pokemon that has better matchups against the flying and fire type Pokemon in the cup. And yeah, no, Rock Wrecker being 5 energy cheaper than Stone Edge with 10 more base damage, obviously that's good, right? Uh, overall though, it's not that big of a game changer for Rhyperior in the Rose Cup. Uh, looking over specific matchups, the only things that really change is that your uh, Skarmory matchup is a little bit more consistent. You can throw Rock Wrecker twice instead of having to bait with Surf and then land the Stone Edge, which is pretty nice. And uh, then uh, Golbat. Golbat with the no bait situation. So it's straight throwing Shadow Balls, you're straight throwing Rock Wreckers. Uh, that situation goes a lot better for you where previously you had the slower Stone Edge. So some slight benefits, they're not like super meta changing kind of things as far as Rhyperior is concerned, um, but if you were on the fence about using Rhyperior before, you're like, oh man, I don't know if I'll get that bait on Skarmory, man. Uh, well, hey, now it's going to be that much more consistent, making it that much more awesome. Another cool thing to note about Rock Wrecker in this particular meta is it has the same damage per energy on fighting type Pokemon as Surf but it has higher base damage. So if you're in that situation where they're just straight farming you down with counter damage, well before you'd throw Surf to be like, I hate you, and then you throw Surf at them and then you die. Well, now you can do that with Rock Wrecker and it'll do slightly more damage to them. Might even flip the matchup given the right set of circumstances, which is pretty impressive. <laughs> um, but yeah, no. So things not changing too much for Rhyperior in the Rose Cup, but definitely an upgrade nonetheless. Now as far as the Toxic Cup is concerned, the Toxic Cup just got announced, so I don't have all my data set for the Toxic Cup already, but Rhyperior is also going to be a player in that particular metagame. Is it going to want to use Rock Wrecker? I'm not exactly sure yet, 
but it is a new move for its repertoire, so why not get one? So Rock Wrecker on Rhyperior. Yeah, it's basically lived up to our expectations. It's a really good attack. It makes it one of the best rock type attackers in the game. It might not have the best rock type DPS that goes to our glass cannon, Rampardos, uh, but for those of you that really don't like to put their faith into glass cannons, yeah, Rock Wrecker Hyperior is the bee's knees. And as before, just want to remind you guys that Tornadus Therian Form and Reshiram are in the future. So having a best buddied, maxed out Hundo Rock Wrecker Hyperior could be pivotal for those raids. You get that extra buddy boost breakpoint. I hope you know what that is. And uh, as far as maxing out Rhyperior goes too, it's not only cool for raids, it also looks like it's going to be cool in Master League PvP, which by extension means it's also going to be awesome for rocket battles. So maxing out Rhyperior, getting the rock wrecker, definitely sounds like some priority moves for this weekend. Now if you got any questions on this content, comment below, let me know what's up, and I'll be happy to help you out. And if you enjoyed this content and you want to see more like it, make sure to subscribe to Swag Tips. It's finally happened, guys. Rock Wrecker Hyperior has, uh, has stats. Right now, it seems like my girl has plans to go to Ikea with me all day, um, but I already got some hundos scoped out, so I'm set. I don't know why I told you about that.